So, this jungle we are in, this dating pool that everyone is trying to find their soulmate, okay? Yeah, you know, it's either someone is recommending this seven. what's up you are welcome back to my channel my name is Mary and on this platform I talk about Christianity fashion and lifestyle I hope you enjoy my videos please like share and subscribe so today guys we're gonna be talking about dating as a Christian okay so I'm gonna be talking from the single girl Christian single girl in transit point of view um, so I hope you enjoy this cuz I'm, I'm excited so let's get right into it. <laughs> From my own experience, oh, I'll just, <laughs> I would just say dating, you know, being a Christian and being in a dating pool or trying to find someone or trying to settle down as a Christian. I think first of all, I feel like a Christian profile is not the most attractive thing. Okay. Now, it's quite controversial, but let me explain for what I'm saying. Now, I feel like people just have this idea that Christians are these people who are judgmental or are always like trying to morally correct people who we think are doing the wrong thing. If you do this, oh, the Bible said, if you do that, oh, the Bible said. I remember one time, right, my friend was trying to, um, was talking to this other guy who's her friend and she was telling the guy about me and he, she was like, oh, that, oh, my friend is a Christian. She's very good. She's dear, she's honest. You will like her. She does this, does that, you know, she's very holy and stuff. And in my mind, I'm not trying to be pessimistic. In my mind, I knew that guy wasn't going to send me a DM. I just knew it. Not that people are not attracted to Christians, but I feel like in their subconscious mind, you just feel, I feel, I think, maybe my thought is wrong, but I just think that people just kind of sense that, oh, being, and especially when you're not maybe, you know, um, like Christian, Christian, you're still trying to walk your faith and you might not, you don't need, you don't, you don't want someone who's going to always tax you all the time. Like, oh, why are you doing this? Oh, why are you drinking? Don't you know the Bible says this and that, you know, that, what like oh I don't need someone to morally correct me or always try to be in my face about being the right Christian or just bombard me with Christian principles. If you have you know a different idea, please feel free to tell me. So I just feel like dating. First of all, as a Christian, you what we are targeting. What I'm targeting is a Christian audience. It's a, the Christian male species, someone who you know is someone who shares the same faith as I do, someone who believes in God, someone who is on the spiritual path to experiencing God, you know, shares intimacy with God or intentionally wants to have a relationship with God. I'm not saying you have to be, you know, skeboshing and skabashing and, you know, if you do that, fine, that's great, that's awesome, you know. So, because really no one is perfect, right? This is life and what every day we learn about life, we learn something new. You know, sometimes you meet someone that you like, okay? You're feeling the guy, he's feeling the girl, y'all just, you know, in that space where you're just, you know, oh, this guy's really cool, I like talking to him, it's this, his dad, he's very caring, but, but, he's not a Christian. You're not going to force anyone to be a Christian because Christianity is a choice, you accepting Christ is a choice, and you don't want to be a burden on someone you know pushing a person every single time oh you must go to church if we don't if you do you must go to church like some people don't respond to force and sometimes people are just repellent to force if you keep forcing people to do things they will literally be like no i don't be in my face all the time i would not talk to you that's how some people are and i feel like you don't want to be a body like when the person sees you person like ah. Please, let's not do that side. Someone come and tell us why. Let's be going to church or why not even a righteous life. This one's be feeling as if no, they're the only ones that that Jesus um just Jesus is friends with them, you know, and all those things. You get what I mean? So I feel like you know, you might like that's one limitation, you know, this as a Christian, you might like someone and then the person might not just share the same faith with you, and the person doesn't have that intention, the person is not being intentional about um, you know, having a relationship with God. You might end up meeting, you might meet someone who is like, you know what, I think I actually want to start a relationship with God and you being in my life is literally going to influence that spiritual part of my life and I would, you know, like to see where this goes. I would like, you know, us to date and, you know, let's start this thing and, you know, 
the guy might just or the guy or the girl might just end up being wow like being saved, experiencing God in a different way and they're like, wow, I thank God for bringing him into my life. We have situations like that that happens and we have situations that, you know, goes the opposite way. The person thinks, you know, yeah, of course, I can do this for the long haul and then they just find out that, you know, they're kind of struggling with their faith or it's just too much pressure from their partner or, you know, they're just battling with different things. There are different cases that might happen. So, like, this whole dating thing, and I know everybody goes to the ch people say, don't go to church, you will not see anybody in church, there are wolves in church, the people in the church are the bad ones. <laughs> So literally, these days, this is a jungle. You're just like, you know what, God? Just put my focus, align my focus, and just direct me to that or your money, okay? To that nice-looking, financially stable, spiritually grounded, understanding, respectful, and morally right guy who... And who is ready to settle down and have a family who will love me, who will respect me, who will support me and someone that I myself is willing, really, you know, because it cannot be just one way, it has to be a two way thing and you know, in relationships. So in a nutshell, focus. all it is that's focus. And I think like one other thing that's very important is when you're dating, um, as a Christian, you just have this spiritual maturity where you must always talk to God about going into a certain thing and there's always that part where you're like God you want me to do this should I do this should I go into this I don't want to you know move in the direction that you don't, you are you haven't instructed me to and I don't want to move in a, in a direction where it's going to yield bad things bad seeds you don't want to walk in a place where it's just going to end up bad so you're in that place where of seeking instruction from God and waiting for God instruction so there are sometimes you might be talking to this guy or talking to this girl and you guys are just feeling each other and then there's that conversation where the guy is like okay um you know i really like what's going on here and i like to you know take it up a level i want to i want this to move forward i don't just want to be friends with you and i feel like there are some times if the guy really doesn't understand if probably you know the person you guys might not be on the same spiritual level or He's not spiritual as you are and I feel like there's just there's there's that awkward face where it's like you don't know how to say or have to talk to God about it and you you want to say that but you're like what is this guy going to think or you're like okay I'll think about it and then you're in that face where you're thinking about it thinking about it you haven't heard from God yet and you're like okay what should I do should I do this does this seem right and you're like okay fine let me do it or I shouldn't do it because I haven't heard you know there's there's that stage 